Shalom. This is part four. Refer back to one, two, two uh, through three of this video. Um, basically, it's called uh, targeted individuals. Uh, the so-called African Americans should watch. This is part four. Um, we're basically are, are the Israelites here on this land. Uh, indigenous here. Uh, this is the, the land that the Most High has promised us. Uh, he never called us black. That's, a, that's another term that they term, they try to throw Israelites into something that they're not. He never said you were a black Hebrew Israelite. He called you Israelites. So, this is part four, and I was explaining to you that this is an interesting book that you should probably pick up just to read and find out some more information about the document. She says that she's the um, the Pope's, well, the Vatican's Pope, because he's not my Pope, he's the Vatican's Pope, Francis. Um, but by necessity, he said she said that uh, they had to tell the so-called African-American you have to read through the, the document to basically decipher what she's saying. And she had said that the so-called African-American, despite of all the things that for 150 years ago since now has been through and uh, violated and injured, they have to tell the truth that we are in fact, if you read into the document that she's telling you, that we are in fact the um, heirs to this land with an edible right. She said she acknowledged that. And they acknowledged it. But like anything else. You have to read through it. And see who you are. But if you don't understand anything else. Overstand what she said. That's the main key. She said you are the people. With the unelable right. Here on this land. And, and the heirs. Out of her own writings. But this here, read this, some good information in there just to see uh, and get some overstanding or understanding of what's going on. And she's provided that information. They said by necessity. So I'm just providing the same information, but I'm just letting you know from the standpoint of a Israelite. Uh, and for this information that's documented within history of telling us who we are as a people. So I'm not doing anything other than, she said, it's our responsibility for those who have uh, been given this information to share it with the, with, your, with the people, the Israelites. So that's what I'm doing here. You know, so I'm not doing anything. I'm not making up anything. All this stuff is verifiable. Um, it, there, also, I use myself. Like I said, um, I had worked for over, what, tw I worked for basically, was it 20 years? For the county of Los Angeles before I was medically retired. I, the, uh, the azure man, the living sentient being, the man, not a corporate entity. And then, um, like I said, I chose to use my appellation, uh, Negus El Yah, overstanding the numb the gear. On their records and also any other numb the gear that I have used are created on my own. Not out of fraud, not out of deceit or anything else like that. But I, like anybody else who is an Israelite on this land, had to learn and, and, and continue to learn and know. I know some things, but I'm, I have not reached the level of being uh, who the Most Highest has called me all the way to be, although I am that. But I'm still learning in him. So along that process of learning, um, because just because the man who I am, I go forward and uh, being myself with the right, always um, having the right to update information as it becomes available. That's only that's only acceptable because. You know, based based on over 150 years of subrogation, it's only acceptable that a man should know who he is and continue to know who he is. Because that, you know, you've been lied to for a long time. 
So that's that's what the purpose is today. To, this is an educational video, and I'm using my own information, uh, telling you who I am. You know, and basically through that process of the information I'm sharing, that you can learn and know who you are, based on what is also recorded in history and who you're not. That's the most important thing to know who you're not. You're not a corporate person. You're not a straw man. You're not a, a piece of property, and that's what they're telling you. By you know by obligation, but also by necessity. So here, this part, this, this is part of their document. Um, their civil orders to the corporations, because they are actually the ones that who's over those things. And it says retirees. It says this is their words: the United States of America, minor. That's the corporation. That is defined under uh, what they describe themselves under uh, 28 U.S.C. 3002.15, called United States of America Minor. That's the corporation. Will not, with no doubt, uh, this is her own words, will no doubt attempt to claim that the American retirees owed Social Security insurance coverage or welfare recipients received benefits. This I see above, and I read that. That's basically in part three, if you go back and read that. Uh... Individual retirees need to object to this interpretation. See, they already have this on record. I've already let them know if I do and when I do cash a check that, that they send, it should be in my proper capacity in my uh, appellation um, by right, uh, standing above that, le that, that uh, corporate entity. answering as myself and because the corporation that entity cannot talk I receive it as myself but not to be subjugated as being a corporate entity and they already have this on record I am being myself so um, I'm not I have not committed crime I never committed a crime I shall not commit a crime um, so any allegations uh, anything that's, that anybody says uh, I object to it. It's not. It's not the truth. So, I'm here talking to you. So, and that's not a, a boastful. I don't. I'm not coming with an arrogant uh, attitude. I'm coming knowing who I am and who and who I'm not. So, and, and then I'm providing information to you to know why I can do what I do. They don't give me. Uh, or they don't give you rights. They just let you know that you have rights, that you have an eligible right, and you are the heirs on this land. The Most Highest even said you are a, a joint heirs with the Hamashit, the overcomer. So it's time for us to overcome and stop holding on to the curses. Because you're not cursed, you're blessed. That's why I say, come out of here, my people. Come out of that mindset. Come out. And they're telling you who you are. Be who you are. Um, okay, let me continue, continue this. It says, Will no doubt attempt to claim that the American retirees owe Social Security insurance coverage or welfare recipients receive, receiving benefits, see above. And I told you to go back to video three for that. Um, individual retirees need to object to this interpretation and their status and give notice to the Social Security Administration that is their understanding. Black the video out. Let me okay. Let me see where did I leave all. That is their understanding that Social Security is and was a retirement insurance program that they paid into and are vested in, and not any way welfare or benefit of any public charitable trust. This is just more self-interest deceit. American workers pay for every drop of their retirement insurance coverage. And our, our grandfathered in once vested, just as with any other private insurance program. That's why I told you about LaSara. Recipient of Social Security payments does not provide any claim against your status as being an American national. If the Social Security Administration goes bankrupt, the United States of America minor will be charged as secondary and so on up the food chain. So once again, it goes back. It said the so-called African Americans are, and that's not our status. 
that's a that's a corporate status that was given under the color of law to claim people as, ch as chattel, slavery, ser and servitude. That's their own words that they said. So I'm not adding nothing. That's they're saying that. And then I said, who are? Uh, let me go back. I said, who are recorded as being American with an elbow right by nationality? Then I go to Webster's Dictionary, 1828. See, Webster was a reputable man in his day because he was very educated and he called it as he saw it. He was very respected. Um, this is a staple in, in, in their history that uh, they recorded what, was, what, what it was back then. And this is the true definitions of what's going on, who we are today. American, American, objective pertaining to America. American, noun, a native of America, originally applied to the aboriginals or copper-colored races found here by the Europeans. Then he goes on to say, but now applied to descendants of the Europeans born in America. So, but let's go by what it says. It says originally, right? Originally, originally an adverb. One, primary, from the beginning or origin. So they let you know who the Americans are. It said God originally is, is originally holy in himself. This is his definition. Two, at first, at the origin. What was the origin? The copper colored people found here by the Europeans. That's the origin of America. Original. And like I said, once again, this is not against anyone or anything. I'm just providing information based on research that's Undeniable. So if anybody get mad at me for this, that just means that they're haters, and they don't they don't love the truth, and they have an agenda. Original, original noun one origin. See origin, that which is accords to signification. Two fountain source cause, that from which anything primarily proceeds, that which gives existence existence or beginning. Nations like individuals are ambitious to trace their descendant from an honorable origin. So that's what this is about. What is our honorable origin? They said we're American. We are the original Americans. Original, adjective, Latin original. First in order, preceding all others. As the original state of a man, the original law of a country. So what was the original law of this country? The original law of this country is the Constitution for uh, the United States Constitution for the uh, uh, the U.S. Constitution for the United States of America. That's the original Constitution, or the original contract, as she is described, uh, for uh, called the lamp, the law of the land. Then they created a corporation in uh, 1871 called the United the, the corporate uh, United what is this? The United States, I mean, I'm kind of a little tired, if you, if you forgive me. The Constitution for the United States of America, that's the corporation. But right here, what did it say? Origin, which, that, with, which is accord in signification, fountain, source, cause, that from which anything primary proceed, that which give existence or beginning, nations. Like individuals are ambitious to trace their descendants from an honorable origin, original, objective, first in order, preceding all others, as the original state of man, the original law of a country. See, that original law of a country says, U.S. Article 6 says, uh, all debt belongs to the corporation. And that's the same thing she said, by obligation and by uh, necessity. It said, original rights of power or powers. The original question in debate, primitive, pristine, as the original perfection of Adam. Origin, origin, now Latin origin. The first existence or beginning of anything as the origin of, of Rome. They use that for uh, an example. In history, it is necessary, if practical, to trace all events to their origin, fountain, source, cause, that from which anything primarily proceed, that which give existence or beginning, nations like individuals are ambitious to trace their descendant from an honorable origin. 
nationality. Nationality, now national character, also the quality of being national or strongly attached to one's own nation. Race. Race, now Latin radix. And radix having the same original, which this word co coincides in origin with rod, ray, radiate, etc. One, the lineage of a family or the, or the con con continued series of descendants from a parent who is called the stock. And this is not talking about the stock market. This is talking about the, 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 uh, the foundation of the family. See, because they can, they can also use stock as in, in, under the corporation. That, we're not talking about that type of stock in this instance. It says, a race is the series of the descendants indefinitely. So we found out that we are the original Americans. We are heirs with an edible right on this land. Now, I'm not making that stuff up. That's what, by she said, by um, necessity, they had to tell us this. So, and they, then they also said in their document, because they're not instructing us, they're basically giving us information, it's, it, and, and us being the heirs, and us who, who have learned this information at whatever level is our responsibility to tell the people, to tell our nation, which are the Jewish Americans. It's good to tell everybody, though. Everybody needs to know this. So it's not, uh, well, I'm hating on anyone. No, this is, I'm just sharing the truth. This is for anyone who wants to know the truth and stand on the truth. We have to stand on the truth. And it's good to tell other people who we are because they need to know, too. All right. This is uh, Webster who said this. I didn't write this up. I didn't make this up. The Most High has already said we was a royal priesthood. We are a holy nation, set apart nation. He already said that we were. Um, he, what, did, what did the Hamashiach say? He said he he had a a, a name written on his thigh. Lord, uh, Lord of Lords, and Kings of a uh, King of Kings. So we joint heirs with the Hamashiach. We're kings and we're, we're we're lords under the the headship of the Most Highest. King, the Elo of Israel, we are his people, and we are a royal people. I'm not making that up. Watch what watch what Webster said back then. He didn't say we were slaves. That came under subrogation. But look what Webster said. It says the lineage of a family or a continued series of a descendants from a parent who is called the stock. A race is the series of descendants indefinitely. Thus, all mankind are called the race of Adam. The Israelites are the race of Abraham and Jacob. Thus, we speak of a race of kings, the race of Clovis or Charlemagne, a race of nobles, etc. So, so Webster recorded the Israelites as being a race of kings. Then I then also said, if, and, and this is no disrespect to the Israelis, but we're different people. So go to uh, the Etymology uh, Online Dictionary and, and look up Israeli, and then it's going to tell you, for comparison, look up Israelite. And, and then and one, the Israelis are a, a, a people... Who converted to um, Judaism through a religion? The Israelites are a bloodline of people from the heritage, of, like he, she, like he just said, Webster just said, Abraham and Jacob. That's a bloodline. That's not a religion. That's who we are. And you already heard that because many brothers is teaching this, but we're not Black Hebrew Israelites. That's a term they made up. We're Israelites. It said, thus we speak of a race of kings, the race of Clovis or Charlemagne, a race of nobles, etc. And then Webster said, more, because I looked that up. Now, it said, GR period, dark, obscure, 
a native of northern coast of Africa called by the Romans from the color of the people, Montania, the country of dark complexioned people. The same country is now called Morocco, Tunis, and Algiers, and etc. Then another scripture said, by the Most Highest, he said, Are you not like, a, like the Ethiopians unto me? Then I looked up Ethiop under the same etymology dictionary online. It says, the Ethiop was a dark-skinned people, same type of thing like Moor, a dark-skinned people who lived on the, on the land where the sun rises in the east, and on the other side, on the land where the sun sets in the west. So these people that's like the Ethiopian, and then the Ethiopians, uh, their actually land is not, it wasn't originally called Ethiopia. So, we're not from Africa, so to speak, when you say the land over there. We're from here, the West. On this land here in America, that's where we're from. And we're called Israelites, as the Father has called us. And then the Moor, although that's also described as a dark-skinned people, but, guess, but look what it says. It says the Moors were called by the Romans. The Israelites are called by the Most Highest Elo. The Almightiest. And then also the same, the, the man Webster, who didn't live in these days and times, he told it like it was. He said, the Israelites is from a lineage of a family or a continued series of descendants from a parent who is called the stock. A race uh, is the series of descendants indefinitely. Thus all mankind are called the race of Adam. The Israelites are the race of Abraham and Jacob. Thus we speak of a race of kings. The race of Clovis or, or a Charlemagne. A race of nobles, etc. He didn't say Moors. He said Israelites. And then when I went down into, to Moors, the same definition that he gave, he said they were called Moors by the Romans. And then also I, I, I said, you know, okay, if you, if you say a more, a dark-skinned person, or a dark-skinned man or woman, then what type of more are you? Because then you have Israelites, which are dark-skinned people. Can be dark-skinned people because, you know, like, like one of the brothers said, you know, we come in all shades. You know, the the so-called African-American. Ruth and, I mean, uh, Boaz and Ruth created chill, a, a, a son who also created down the road King David, King, Kings, Israelites. Then some people call them Moors. If you call them a Moor, they're Israelites, but they're just dark-skinned Israelites. Not more bites. Then you had uh, Op Orpah, who did not continue to go on with Ruth and, Na and, uh, and, and uh, Naomi. But Orpah went back to her people. So she didn't have any children by any Israelites. So she had pure Moabite, Moabites. Dark-skinned Moabites. They're not Israelites. So that's more, if you call them a dark-skinned people as in terms of a more, they're Moabites. You call the Israelites a more in terms of a dark-skinned people, they're Israelites, they're not Moabites. But the Most High has called us Israelites, the, the, the royal kingship. Webster calls us Israelites, kings. So that's what I'm calling myself, because the Most High said it, uh, Israelite, but I've been saying I was Israelite. And then also they said the same, the same people that they call uh, Blackfoot, Washita, Cherokee, all the different th all the different other titles, Black, Negro, Colored, all those terms that other people made up, are their true nationality, as he has said, is or their true because he's under race, their nationality is Israelite, a race of kings. 
That's before they were subrogated. And then if you go back to scripture, all people came from three people after the flood. Uh, Shem, Shem, Ham, and Japheth. So that's, that's where the three people came from. Japheth came from the Isle of the Gentiles. So that leaves Ham and Shem. The Moabites come from Ham. The Israelites come from Shem. And then Boaz and, and uh, Ruth came from a combination of both of them. We're from this part. Of, we're, we're all from this land. We're what they call Americans, Israelite Americans. And I put Israelite Royal Americans because it's been confirmed. Then uh, let's see, Roman. Because we also know that uh, even some of the Romans were dark skinned people back in, from origin. But the reason I thought it may have been a different form of Roman because he said the Romans called them Moors for their dark skin. If they was not, if these, the, if the people who were Romans, they said they were called Moors for their dark skin, they wouldn't have said that because they were dark skin. Just consider it. So, let's see what else did I have. So therefore, that's that's why I said I, you know, I've always uh, reserved the right to update my information, and there's really no need for me to update my information because I always said who I am. Um, my nationality is uh, Israelite, and I just threw in the royal now because it's been confirmed. I've shown you proof: Israelite royal American. Then if you call me a Moor, because because of my dark skin, that's because. No, that's what you call me, but my, my true nationality is an Israelite Royal American. It's called by the Most High and confirmed by Webster. And other sources. And the other brothers are preaching and, and teaching on the internet, showing you other sources. So, all rights reserved exercising all rights at all time uh, perpetually so like I said all of my actions in good faith I'm not against any man I have good faith and love towards every man but I, I understand that there are some people that don't love me I don't love the Israelites I don't love the so-called African American, and really those people, those people that really, really that don't, do, they don't love anybody actually, because they have an agenda. So uh, it is my intent to tell you the truth, as I, have, if I have shown it to you, go back and watch one, two, and three of the video. Um, Targeted individuals. What did I say? Americans. I said so called, not that's what we call targeted individuals, so called African Americans uh, should watch. One, two, and three, and now four. No, I object to any color of, a color of law action and bad faith action or any other bad faith action by anyone including people that say uh, they're uh, American now I've shown you without a, 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 a shadow of doubt so if, if you if you don't agree with the things I've said 
You don't have to agree with it, but I've shown you proof. And there's so many other people that are showing proof. Um, much love to the Israelites. Much love to even the Honorable Moors. Much love to the Honorable um, Europeans. Much love to the Honorable whatever nation you're from. If you're Honorable, much love to you. Shalom.